Welcome to Disturbing Creation. And we're here today to teach you about a new skill. I'm gonna be doing basic mechanic skills, intermediate mechanic skills, and even expert mechanic skills. Depending on your level, I've got a playlist for each. I, um, I blew through these, ooh, that's so hot. I blew through these tie rods. You see the tie rods not supposed to move like this? I'll show the, the other one in a minute. It was so bad, it was disgusting. So uh, what I did was, this was bolted up in here. This is how you remove the tie rod. Basically, you can all the tie rods are the same. So this connects to the steering stem here. This is the outer tie rod. This line is the inner tie rod. And under this boot is called the steering rack. That connects to the steering stem. The piece comes down and then that goes to the steering wheel. So when you turn the wheel to the right and left, you see how this is, the wheel would turn here, right and left. The whole wheel will spin and that's the tie rod. So there's a bolt, it goes in here and there's a bolt. And um, what you're gonna do is um, you're gonna slide it through this hole and then you're gonna uh, uh, put the bolt on it and lock it down. Some have a castle nut. Uh, these don't have a castle nut. They they have a, um, a locking head nut. So fortunately, this is the old one and this is the new one. And they are exactly the same brand. I got lucky. So I don't really feel like I need an alignment until I do some more work. We'll see. Uh, because wherever you break this nut from, it, all you have to do is break this nut free. That's the adjustment nut. And then spin the tie rod and then put it on and it'll kick the wheel in and out. So I'm going to have a sleeve. This might be the sleeve right here. Break this, uh, undo this and stick it back. And you can move this sleeve in and out. After you break this nut, turn this with a special tool. It, it, it has two hooks on it. Uh, and then that's how you get what's called the toe. So if your wheel's straight, if your steering wheel's straight, but your wheel is like this, but your other wheel's straight, then you can adjust it in a little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit, till it's flat again. That's called the toe. So this will be towed in, and then this would be towed out, and straight would be um, in spec toe. So we're gonna put the new tie rod on. I only, I only took it off from here. Um, we're gonna connect it back on the same way we just connected it off because it's the exact same brand. I think we're gonna be very, very close, like I said, to the alignment connection. Uh, the other one came off pretty easy. This one was a little bit harder. I'm gonna show you here. It's still hot. So you see in this one, there's like a, um, a star head in the top right here. So you're supposed to put a star head or a Torx in here. It was a 40, 40 T. And then there's a bolt down here, it's an 18. So you get this off with an open wrench while you're holding it. I'm gonna show you how it works. So I have the 18, here is the bolt, right? Here is the bolt, right? See, the bolt was on there. We're gonna pretend the bolt's on. I'm down here on the bolt. And then this, the Torx goes in. So you hold the Torx in place, and then that'll help you so you can crank, the, crank this backwards to get the bolt off, and the bolt comes out. So you're right here, you're turning this backwards and you're holding the, the socket in. You're holding the socket here. And you're cranking this backwards. And then you have to lift up a little bit, readjust it, and crank it backwards. Unless you have ratcheting wrenches, but some of these are pretty tight. I don't like to put a lot of stress on my ratcheting wrenches, so I, I just kind of go with it, you know? I'm sure there's other ways. Um, I tried to use this, the gun, but it was on there too much. So then I had to use this, map gas or propane, 
I'm not condoning anyone to use this unless you use it correctly, you ask somebody, you get a class or something. You know, I don't want anyone to get hurt. So I turned this on, clicked it, got a little flame, and I heated this up. The reason I heated this up is because the metal gets soft. The more you heat this up, the metal gets softer, but you gotta watch. You, uh, you see here a little, little bit where I melted a little bit of this wire? Thank God it didn't go all the way through. It just, I got it just got a little bit wet. Okay. Oh, sorry. That was the old junk. Who cares? So, now we're gonna keep, twist this one on. Right? This is the tie rod. Tie rod. Remember, it's steering components. Everybody can go fast, everybody wants to make horsepower, but if, if you don't have the steering components, uh, you know, what fun is that? That last one is down, so I'm gonna go up. And then we're gonna screw this tight. That should be about where it's at. Now this one uh, is very hard to move. This is very hard to move, not like this. This I can move with my thumb. You don't wanna do that. This I cannot move with my thumb. So we're gonna line this up. I'm gonna stick this through. Right here. Okay. Okay, so this needs to be more at an angle. There it is. There it is. You see? See it popped up here? Popped up here. So this one doesn't have a, a catch on it. The other one has a catch on it, so you can put the torques in and, and take it off. But that's all right. And the, you see this one? This is called a locking washer. You see this plastic on top? It starts to it's it's a little thinner than what this side is. So when it gets up to here, it grabs onto the threads on the top here, and it locks on like Loctite. So you can only use these like they say one time. You can make your own adjustment. I mean, I've used one more than once, but you can tell when this is starting to rip out. You don't want to use this anymore. You want to be safe. I mean, we make disturbing creations and we make um, custom stuff, but we want to be safe. You know, if it's custom, we still want to want to go with. Um, we, we want to be able to make stuff tomorrow too. So we're gonna put this on. And then um, I'm gonna hit it down with the gun and zip it in. Um, this is a 21, so they're actually reverse thread. So this is gonna go, this is gonna go backwards this way to tighten. So if you're trying to take this tie rod, if you're trying to take it off reverse, you're probably not doing the right thing because these go this way. I know it's weird, but this is the reverse thread. You know, and uh, just make sure it's reverse thread on your car. It's um, it's reverse thread on my Mustang, um, and it's reverse thread on this um, Boxer. I can't remember if it's reverse thread on the Mercedes I have or not. But always look at your specs. Don't don't just take one video or what one person says and roll with it. Always do your due diligence and look things up for yourself. Um, only use these YouTube videos as a guide. Um, you know, send things back and forth, information, help each other out. That's what this is for. We're, we're supposed to be using this social media to help each other. So let's get this all together. We're going to be driving well. I'm going to tighten all this up. And we're going to put the, the big rims on and um, we're going to be sticking out. Uh, there might be some body kit coming soon for the.